Function generator literally generates functions. It can be envelope, can be LFO, it has six different modes. But you can categorize them into three families. And each family has basic one and complex one. So I recommend that you start with basic ones. Now you can already see an overview. Use as envelope, use as LFO, and follow, replicate the input signal. These three are the very basic usage of FG. In envelope or LFO mode, the role of input is a bit complex. For now, just leave it none, because it is the easiest to understand. FG1 has three outputs, env, rice, and steel. But the last two are just auxiliary, and you can dismiss them for a while. env is the main modulator, in all modes. In envelope mode, AD nodes work simply as attack decay time. Let's see how it works. Noted that FG draws full envelope even after you release a note. In general, this moment is called, you know, release time. But FG doesn't stop drawing its attack and decay curves. What is confusing is we usually call this behavior one shot envelope, as is the case in AMP module. So in function generator, both envelope and one shot are actually what is called one-shot envelope. As to one-shot mode in FG, I'll talk about it later. If you need an extra LFO, Psycho-Trig mode is for you. Again, leave the input none to keep it simple. The only difference between envelope and Psycho is whether it loops or not. It lives forever, even after not off. So, with its settings, it's already usable as an LFO. Follow mode is, in one word, car chase. Follow means chasing the input or replicating the input. So selecting some source with zero attack, zero decay, results in the exact copy, the perfect replication of input signal. In this mode, attack means chasing speed going up, while decay means chasing speed going down. Let's watch how it works. In follow mode, a probable misunderstanding is to think AD knobs to be just attack decay modifiers. This is partly true, but mostly not. Remember that the follow mode is cartridge. In this image, FG overtakes the input. It goes up while input goes down. 
This never happens. The actual result is this. It just chases the input. And see how weak the signal becomes. Be aware of this, especially when you set long attack or decay. Not a big deal, but what sometimes matters is whether FG is monophonic or polyphonic. If polyphonic, each note is independent, has its own cycle. If monophonic, all notes are together, share a single cycle. In LFO, you can choose whichever you like. But FG is always polyphonic, so each note has its own cycle. They always start from zero, from attack stage. There's no trigger option, so sync, single, random trigger is not possible in FG. Sync mode being lacked, FG cannot do some daily work of LFO. So these three are the basic usage of function generator I recommend as a starting point. And no temp sync option. Each of attack decay can last 4 seconds in maximum. The next chapter is about what happens if input source is changed. Thanks for watching.